Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Piece of the Pie Show, the Small Slice News Edition. Now, if we haven't had the pleasure of meeting, I'm your host, Pai Patel, and I'm so honored to have you join me today from your very busy schedule. I thank you so much. So let's just get right into why you're here. It's a good thing that we live in such exciting times. I have some very interesting news from the crypto world, so sit back and let's find out what's been happening. Who knows the name of the most viewed video on YouTube? It's the Baby Shark song video by Ping Fong, believe it or not. So what does Baby Shark have to do with anything you might ask? Well, after an NFT release in December of 2021 that quickly sold out according to Ping Fong, the children's company is now preparing a second NFT launch of 10,000 generative collectibles. Now don't forget the December release came right before the historic dip that left so many investors at a loss for words as well as profits. The company also has plans to carve out a place in the metaverse. Who's this marketed to again? Surely no creepy weirdos, but I digress. <laughs> in celebration of the second launch, Ping Fong is hosting a party that will go to 1.30 a.m., probably later than most of their fans' bedtimes. Anyway, I digress again. Next up, we have some scientists are disagreeing with Mark Zuckerberg about the metaverse role in our future work lives. A Cambridge study of a 40-hour work week in VR shows a 35% increase in work task load and a 42% increase in frustration from in real life. Hmm, I wonder how long until the first virtual harassment claim. Hmm. <laughs> One out of nine participants couldn't finish a single eight hour day in VR because of physical symptoms. Eight hours is a long time to be in virtual reality, even if you're having fun. I mean, yikes. But I think there certainly are productive work situations that can be enhanced by VR and AR. What do you guys think? Are we all going to turn into the lawnmower man? Third and finally for today, Elon Musk is being sued by plaintiff Keith Johnson for $258 billion, three times the value of the decline in Dogecoin since May of 2021. <laughs> Johnson alleges that Dogecoin is a pyramid scheme and that Musk is guilty of racketeering. Where do these people even come from? Oh my goodness. Johnson claims the defendants knew Doge had no value since 2019 and only promoted it for their own gain. Last that I was aware, Dogecoin still has some value just like everything else. And who knows about Dogecoin and hasn't seen a single meme about it. I guess we'll have to see what the courts have to say. What do you guys think? Sound off in the comments, my friends. Thank you so much again for staying till the end. If you're enjoying my content, please go ahead and just walk your finger on over to that subscribe button and join Pi's Pal Club. I really appreciate it. Also, if you can spare a like and a comment, that would mean a lot to me. I love you all so very much. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and week. I will be back again very soon with the next episode of Piece of the Pie where I'll be helping you get your piece of the pie. Till next time.